Well, if you looked up at the sky last night, you may have seen it. The super flower blood moon lunar eclipse. There were some clouds out there, but several Idaho weather watchers managed to snap these amazing photos. I was actually able to see it myself when we left after doing the Sunday news at 10 last night. Now the sun, moon and earth aligned during the eclipse with the planet casting a shadow on the entirety of the moon's visible surface. That shadow gave the moon a reddish hue, and that's why it's called a blood moon. The eclipse also took place during a supermoon when the moon looks bigger and brighter because it is its closest point to Earth in its orbit. The flower part just comes from the May full moon's spring theme nickname as the flowers are blooming right now. And uh, Jim Duth, the our meteorologist, is in right now. And Jim, uh, Bree Eggers and I uh, were joking last night that we could call it, like, make the name even longer, like the super flower power blood sugar full moon thing. Tulip because, daffodil yeah. peony moon. You know. yeah, exactly. <laughs> and this morning that moon was still very bright. It was like a spotlight when yeah. I came into work early this morning and then finally set at about 7.30 or 8 o'clock this morning. Well, hope you had a good glimpse of it last night. We were lucky that the clouds started to clear up a little bit before that eclipse was over to catch a good view of it. So some great pictures there.